Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Uh, thank you for joining us and as always please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Uh, today we're back in DCS World and in the Mission Editor. And uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how you can link missions together. So what do I mean by that? Well, going from, you could have a scenario, which is what I'm going to show you, of you could be departing the Persian Gulf map flying to a region and then it will load in the Syria map for example so it kind of adds a little bit it allows almost the map to become bigger without being bigger so let's go ahead and jump into the mission editor so here we are in the Persian Gulf and uh, what we could like say is going to happen is we want uh, our aircraft to take off from here at uh, down at Al Dafra fly all the way up here uh, to get to like Iraqi airspace and then we want to jump over to the Syria map so how do I do that well I'm going to show you so let's create a trigger zone and plump it right here pretty much on the Iraqi border the well, Iraqi coast let's add an aircraft uh, let's, have an, let's have an F-16 shall we why not okay and let's pop him up at 26,000 feet and uh, let's give him some ordnance just to He's going to go into Syria and perform a cap. Okay. And let's make him fly into that zone. Okay. So this is the first part of doing this done for the purpose of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, so let me just save that into my tutorial folder. And let's call that uh, Persian Gulf Departure. Okay. Right now. Again, let's create a new mission and let's switch over to the Persian uh, to Syria. So here we are on the Syria map. So now we have to imagine where would we want to resume the mission from. So obviously this is Iraqi airspace here, so we probably would have come in and then come up here, somewhere like that, but we want to operate in Syria. So let's go ahead and add our F-16 in to, where is he? There he is. Let's go ahead and plump him on the map, and let's just move him down here like so, and put him at the altitude that we left him at, and then make him go forward somewhere, and let's fill him up with what we had before. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, that's this done. So now we've got to save that. And we'll call that SY Arrival. Okay. Now, we have to hop back over to our original one. So the Persian Gulf Departure Map. Or Scenario. Uh, and then this is where we will play with the triggers to make that transition happen between the two maps. Okay, let's jump on here into triggers. Uh, new trigger, it's going to happen once. We're going to select a unit. So in this case, this would be you. Uh, so unit uh, is inside zone. So our aircraft, aerial one, one, inside trigger zone one, which is there. New. And then we want to uh, come down to the actions and load mission. And then we select Syria arrival. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump in and see uh, see how that will work. I don't need to save it because I'm happy. Okay, so imagine this is you flying all the way up the Persian Gulf. You're now just approaching uh, Iraqi uh, 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 Iraqi airspace. If you transit through, just speed things up. And once we hit that trigger zone, uh, we should. Well, the mission should change. There we go. Now, there are a few caveats with this. As far as I'm aware, you can't, it won't save your cockpit state um, th from the, during the transition. So here we are now in the Siri map. Okay. So, as I was saying, caveats, if I'm aware it doesn't say the copper state, you would have to manually input what you'd expect your, say, 
fuel to be there or it just spawned back in in the, in the second map as um, full fuel and so on. Um, and then if we wanted to then go back to the Persian Gulf map, we just have to create another trigger zone um, and as make it so that once our aircraft flies into that zone, it will transition back to that other map. But obviously you'd have to put in the the other aircraft in the other map as well so you, you have to play about with it. it's a little bit confusing i know it sounds a little bit confusing but you get the gist of it from this tutorial so i hope you find it useful um give me some ideas down in the comment section of what you might like to see going forward uh, and as always please like and subscribe and i shall see you next time